Okay, guys, so today's is a really short lesson. Just going to show you how to make some grill marks on chicken breast. And you could apply this to most proteins, salmon, tuna, even tofu and other vegetables like sliced zucchini, sliced eggplant. It's pretty much the technique of getting proper hash marks, as they say, or grill marks. Okay, it's a method of putting it at 10 o'clock and two o'clock on the grill, griddle, and whatever you're using. Today I'm gonna to be using a cast iron grill pan, okay? Um, a little bit about cast iron is that you need to preheat it on the stove or preheat it in an oven, and we'll get into that more later on, okay? So first off, I want to marinate my chicken, so I'm gonna do a simple marinade that we use for the chicken Caesar salad, and I'm doubling the recipe. This is about two pounds of chicken, it's a little bit over, but I'm going to double the recipe for that, okay? But first off, I want to, before I clean this, I'm going to chop up my aromatics. All right, so we all remember our friend Rosemary, and we remember how to clean it, okay? So remember just as a refresher to grab it from the top, pull down, okay? Just grab one of those, pull it down. You can pull it apart like that if you need to. This is still from my, this is the last of mine from outside. They're getting a little evergreeny here now all right so i'm going to clean all this and i'm going to mince it up just mince this guy up this is a, about one tablespoon we're doubling in the recipe okay everything gets shaken in here okay that's pretty good right there okay we're gonna do the garlic next, just mince. The recipe calls for three, but since it's double the recipe, we're gonna do six, okay? Just a quick refresher. Remember, just smash it, and we're gonna mince. Okay? I'm gonna do that with all of them. All right, so I got my garlic minced up. As you can see, it's very nice and minced. You don't want no chunks. You just want nice, small pieces, okay? We'll put this to the side. So now let's work on the chicken. Okay, the rest of the recipe is pretty simple. The juice of two fresh lemons, salt and pepper, and the thyme, I'm sorry, the rosemary, the garlic, and some olive oil. Okay, that'll be below in the directions. All right, so now let's clean the chicken just to show you how to do this real quick. This breast came together, so we're just gonna use a knife here and kind of scrape down some of that skin and fat and just cut it right along the line here. We don't want to take off too much. All right, and we want to trim the fat, sorry. So you could use the, this part of the knife to help scrape down the skin and some excess bits on top. Just give it a nice sharp knife, get it off. Now this is my cutting board that I use just for chicken, and that's why I did my mise en place first, and I did the rosemary mince and the garlic mince first before I put the raw product on top. Plus, you want it dry when you're doing this stuff. Okay, you don't want it to be all wet. Okay, so let's just check for a little more fat. Trim it off. Okay, you want to get all, as much fat off as possible. And also with the marinade, you don't want to make it too oily because it's going to make a flare up. All right, so now I'm going to show you just how to fillet this in half, like some of the butterfly. You want to kind of get in through right around here and go in with the knife and try to use the whole blade. Don't kind of saw like crazy. And put your hand like this and point your thumb up so you don't, like, run into it as you're slicing through, okay? So go in here at the fat part and just, and then just drag the knife all the way out, okay? So now you should have two cutlets. If we were going to do, like, scallopini or paillard, as they say in French, we would take these now, put them in some wax paper or between some cellophane, and we would pound them really thin. They get them very, very thin, but we're doing grilled chicken, so we want two, like, really nice pieces, all right? So I'm going to put this back in our chicken bowl, get the other piece that I cleaned, check it out, all right? Let's, you know, if you got some, sometimes there may be some bone, some breast bone here, or the wishbone, as they say, some other pieces trim, but this is all good meat. It's just like it was kind of butchered poorly, if you see. It was really ripped off the rib cage here, too, uh, haphazardly, okay? That's, not, that's a sign of a bad butcher right here. You see how it's all chewed up off the thing? It should be one nice straight cut. All right. 
So let's try that again through the, the fat part because as this goes this way, as this tapers off, this gets thinner here, it's fatter here. So let's put our knife in here and just feel it, feel the force throw, flow in you. Okay, and just let it go through. And we got two nice parts from, all right? So like I said, this pack was about two pounds, a little over two pounds. And I'm gonna marinate it. And then I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna get those nice hash marks using the 10 and two technique. All right, so let's get this marinade done. Okay. Get all our friends to the party here. All right, so we have our chopped rosemary, very nicely minced. Okay, put that in. Okay, I save these. Okay, save these if you have these, we use these. Put my pepper in, my salt. Remember, this is double the recipe. It's below in the directions. My minced garlic, nice and chopped up well. Freshly minced, okay. All right, the extra virgin olive oil, okay. And the juice of two lemons. If you don't have lemons, you can use lemon juice. I believe it's about like one tablespoon per lemon. So, but always fresh is best, and especially now where citrus is nice and in season. So make sure you guys put on a glove for this part of your mixing. All right, just give it a good mix. Okay, make sure you mix from the from the middle out. Make sure you get you don't want to have like one breast have like nothing, and then you have one that the other side is all covered with stuff. You want to really give this a good mix so everything is really nicely distributed. Okay, I'm gonna mix this for about a minute. All right, so I'm about finished. I've been mixing for about a minute or two. And you want to keep flipping the pieces around, okay? And then check them. You want to see that the ingredients are nice and evenly distributed on both sides, okay? You want to check them. Also, don't be too rough. You don't want to tear it. You want them to grill up and have nice big pieces, all right? There's nothing worse than bad presentation, or right? You don't want no tears in your chicken, all right? So I'm going to leave these guys to marinate. I mean, ideally, you want to marinate them overnight, but, you know, leave them a couple hours, at least two hours or so, and then you can grill them, and then I'll show you how to do that technique now. Well, my camera overheated, so now I'm on another camera, Cam 2. Okay, I, didn't, I guess it's not wise to put a phone over a cast iron skillet and all the heat absorbed in Christ the app. So I'll just do this by hand for it and we'll turn this over. That's more of a, of a look we're looking for. Okay. More of those hash marks. So you'll definitely get more pronounced if it's more room temperature as well as an outdoor grill. Okay. So we'll it's ten o'clock. Let that cook. All right, let's hope we don't overheat this one. Okay. All right, let's see how this comes out. 